Okay, if you were like me in high school, when you saw the logarithm, you saw absolutely no point. Why in the heck would we ever need this? And I honestly didn't see a need for it until I became an adult. And then I, then I was dealing with money all the time, or biology, or you know, any about any science subject or finance subject. And suddenly the log logarithm crept up about everywhere. And so now I'm a math teacher, and I argue that the logarithm is probably one of the most important things you can learn um, in high school mathematics. I might have even diverted some of the pain of the housing crisis. Who knows if more people understood it. So if you invested $10,000 at 6% interest compounded annually, when would the initial investment be worth $20,000? Okay. Um, first thing we need to know is kind of a simple equation for interest compounded annually. Um, this is just an exponential equation where this is our initial amount. This is our growth. And this is our final amount. All right, and this is obviously T always stands for time, right? Well, not always, but and here it will. So I start plugging in things. And so $20,000 equals our initial amount of $10,000 times our growth rate of 1.06 to the T power. Okay. So the 1.06, that growth, that means 100%. You're going to get 100% of your 10,000 back each year plus 6% um, of the 10,000. So you're going to get some interest every year. All right, you could get your calculator out at this point and then just start making guesses. So maybe you went 10,000 um, times 1.06 uh, to the 10th power. Okay, wow, $17,908. So I immediately guessed a very close answer. So, but anytime there's a T out here in the exponent like this, that's where logarithms come in. And if you remember those four important things you need to know about logarithms, T, um, or an exponent, um, is always the inverse of uh, a logarithm. So what we're going to do here is isolate this exponential value, divide both sides by 10, and to do that you divide both sides by 10,000. So I'm going to divide by 10,000. 20,000 divided by 10,000 is 2, and 1.06 is still to the t power. So to, to use that fourth thing, that fourth most important thing, what I'm going to do here, and I'll just do it down here, I'm going to log both sides. Okay, when I log both sides, if you remember that fourth thing we talked about, in my, or I talked about in that last video, Remember, that lets that t pop out here to the front of the logarithm. And I'm using the common logarithm. There's really a base 10 there, but you can leave it out because it's called the common logarithm for a reason. We're a base 10 system. So log 2 equals t times log 1.06. Now about any 8th grader could uh, solve this. Um, you've got to use a one-step problem now. To solve, to get t by itself, we need to be able to divide by log 0.106. So when you divide to one side, you divide the other side. And here they cross out and become 1. And so t equals log um, 2 divided by log 1.06. So 2 log divided by um, 1.06 log, notice I haven't got my answer yet, it equals in 11.895 years, approximately, you know, this is a rounded number as well. So we need to go in here and say the time, you know, depending on what you need to round, it's going to take approximately 12 years to double this investment. So there are some tricks, one's called the rule of 72. And uh, we're going to talk about that next. So good luck. I hope this helps. And I hope you appreciate a logarithm now. Because I sure do. I love the logarithm.